Thank you, Herb, for hosting. Thank you, uh, New Jersey 11, and uh, 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 sorry, Blue Wave, New Jersey, for hosting us. Uh, I've been a teacher for 25 years, a uh, college professor for 25 years, and I'm concerned about our country. Uh, I love being a teacher, but I love my country, and that's why I came out here. I think, uh, I believe that our country is facing a constitutional crisis, uh, unlike uh, we've seen in 241 years of experience. In drafting our 1787 Constitution, our founding fathers were brilliant people. They realized that we would get a rogue president from time to time because we've had a rogue king. And so they put in place a system of checks and balances. Well, they don't work if the person who's supposed to check decides that they are checked out, that they won't do their job. So that's why I'm here. I'm here because I want to do the job. I want to make sure that Congress holds Donald Trump responsible for his actions. I want to be here so that I want to be in Congress because our democracy depends on it. I love being a teacher. I can still be a teacher, you know, but you know, my country needs me, and that's why I decided. So I'm asking for your vote uh, in the Democratic primary on June 5th. And if I be so lucky, I'm also asking for your vote in the general election in November. Thank you very much. Like always happens with debates, it just flies by. If you didn't hear something from me and you still have a question, please find me online. Please send me an email, ask me a question. I want to start by thanking again our hosts, Blue Wave and NJ11 for change. The work that you guys are doing is tremendously inspiring. There's somebody else I want to thank uh, for inspiring a lot before we go, and that's my wife, Kiapi. You have... the most applause I got on I'm going to need those seconds back. <laughs> you have borne on your shoulders so much of this effort and so much of what we're doing. Um, and I have to tell you, I could not have imagined growing up in the country that my journey would take me all the way to Jerusalem where I met you, uh, or that it would bring us here to New Jersey where we have uh, this wonderful life that touches so many parts of the 11th Congressional District. Uh, our first house was in... Uh, uh, West Orange. That's where we started our family, on Eagle Rock Avenue. Uh, and we live in Wayne. My first law job was in Roseland. Uh, Kiathi teaches at Fairleigh Dickinson University for 15 years now as a full professor, right down the road. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to you person here somewhere. Uh, and, uh, right down here in Madison. Um, you know, from Montclair, where we go to church at St. John's, to Parsippany, where we go when we want good Indian food. Um, our lives touch every corner of this district, and having represented a fifth of it for the last five years as a freeholder, I am passionate and committed about what we can do in this district together. And I'm so excited by what lies ahead of us. We have to choose a candidate that knows what it takes to win an election like this. I've run for office three times, and that's three times more than anybody else on this stage. It's a skill set and it's a set of priorities that we need to wield across this district. Thank I you. believe we can win it, and I ask for your help. Thank you, New Jersey 11, for changing. Thank you, Blue Wave, but thank you, everybody, for coming, because all of you are the heroes. You're the ones that have to vote Freeland Highs and Hal. I have to be personal. I have to let you know who I am why I'm here. It started, of course, as I said before, when I saw the disrespect from Senator McCain, and when I saw no reaction at all from our public officials. It, it, it amplified when I saw the disrespect for the reporter, when I heard nothing come from Congressman Friedling Heisen, and I heard our elected officials supporting the downfall of the ACA, supporting all of the things that we feel are so important. From my point of view, I've spent years and years fighting Wall Street. I was an assistant attorney general, I was a prosecutor. I'm not afraid to fight Wall Street. I was president of the Bar Association, and as president of the Bar Association, 
We saw a need to, to fight the drugs, the drugs in our county. There's a drug court system, and that's now effective because that was something that we saw that was important. And I worked with the Alumni Association to continue that. I was president of the Bar Foundation, and the Bar Foundation works to help battered women. It helps the veterans. We have clinics that we've attended. These are things that have taken years. This is a commitment to the community over many, many, many years. But the important thing is, every single thing that I've done has been nonpartisan. There's not one time when anybody said, are you a Democrat or are you a Republican? They've never done that. And when I made the decision to vote, to, uh, to, to run, I asked all of the clients and friends and everybody else that I knew, and they said, we don't care. We don't care whether you're Republican. We don't care whether you're a Democrat. We know that you will stand up for the rights of every citizen in this district, and that's what I'll do. Thank you. Uh, thanks, sir. I wanted to, again, extend my gratitude to NJ11 for change and also to Blue Wave and to you as well, Herb, for uh, some very powerful questions and the opportunity to speak to all of you tonight and all of you uh, out, out there on, uh, at Drew and on Facebook Live. I am an, a businesswoman, an advocate, and a mother. And I have two wonderful girl, girls. One is a sophomore in college and one is a junior in high school. And I raised them in New Jersey for the most part. And New Jersey, when I first touched base, it was as a 23-year-old young woman in the town of Orange in Essex County. And Jersey has been a part of my life over the next several decades. And when I talk to people, when I worked in social work spaces at Family Connections at the Mental Health Association of Essex County in Montclair, I've learned a lot about people's journeys. And one of the things that I've learned about, as we talked about tonight, is what are the most important things that affect a person's life? It's education, it's having quality access, access to quality healthcare, and it's actually having a path to economic mobility and viability because, as I mentioned before, working class families and middle class families are the engine of this economy and are the engine of this state in New Jersey. We are dealing with some of the highest property taxes in this state, and we have people who have made their, their economic journey and have gone to school and educated themselves, and they are sitting in their homes wondering how they're going to provide education for their children and how they're going to hold on to their asset to be able to have it serve them in their retirement. And if there's a catastrophic crisis, what will they do? I'm running because the thing that we always say is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different. I stepped into this race because we have Donald Trump as a president and Rodney Frelinghuysen who's absent. And the question I leave with you tonight is who's ready to join me in making real change because the time is right now and we need to send different leadership to Congress, and I offer myself as a candidate for your consideration. Thank you. I would also like to thank the sponsors of the event. I'd like to thank all of you. I'd like to thank everyone who's listening online. I'd like to thank everyone up here, because frankly, I think we've all learned quite a bit from each other. One is which is, of which is that we have a lot more that unites us than divides us. And I think it's important to keep realizing that. And one thing that is crucial to me is that we have a primary on June 5th, which by the way is my birthday, so I wouldn't mind 17,000 <laughs> birthday presents, please, and your votes. But what is important, and what we have to think about here in this room and elsewhere tonight, is that I am running not against any of these people here, but I am actually running against Freeland Heisen right now. And the fact is, the only way to get him out efficiently and effectively is in the primary. So what I ask of each of you is not to turn your backs on your party. I absolutely respect that. But what I ask each of you to do is consider for a moment that you change your affiliation to independent approximately two months before June 5th. And on election day, you can decide, depending on how the primary is going for the Democrats, to either continue there or for one day, join and unite with me <laughs> to get that son of a gun out of office. <laughs> At which point, by the way, 
we will have already won a major victory. Because no matter which one uh, of you I would face off with, we've already won. We've gotten rid of the ultra-right who are controlling our lives. So I ask each of you to really consider that one point, to go independent two months before. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I, I would consult with a, an election lawyer before you, 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 you actually may not be able to vote in the primary. Well, thank you, NJ11, for change. Thank you, Blue Wave. Uh, this is wonderful. Thank you, Herb. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jason, Maggie, Lincoln. Thanks for coming tonight. I can merit if you're watching at home. Go to bed. Um, <laughs> You know, I've wanted to serve my country almost as long as I can remember. When I was in fifth grade, I told my dad I was going to become a pilot, I was going to go to the Naval Academy, and I was going to serve my country. And so, when I see what's going on right now, when I see what's going on in this country, I'm reminded of a lesson that I learned while I was serving in the Navy. The worst thing you can do in the United States Navy is to run a ship aground. And yet often, when a ship runs aground, there's an investigation and you find that people on the bridge of that ship knew it was gonna run aground and they didn't say anything. And maybe they didn't say anything because they were scared of the captain. Or maybe they didn't say anything because they thought the other people on the ship might make fun of them. But for whatever reason, they didn't stand up. They didn't stand up and they put themselves ahead of the ship and its crew. And I think that's what's going on in Washington. We have a president who's running this country aground. He's working to undo every value that I have spent my life upholding and protecting. And we have a congressman, Congressman Freelingheisen, who's that guy on the bridge. Like he's refusing to stand up and put an end to this. We need better leadership. We deserve better leadership. So that's why I'm so glad to see all of you here tonight. I'm so glad to see the energy that we already have almost a year out because we can do this. We can fight for the 11th district and we can provide real leadership that we need here. Thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. Drive safe. for our candidates.